Join us! Join us! Join us! Liver fat, or hepatic steatosis, is a prevalent yet often undetected condition affecting one in every four Americans, according to estimates. Despite its silent nature, liver fat can lead to severe health complications, including cancer and cirrhosis making it imperative to identify and address its underlying causes. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Yes. Surprisingly, some foods commonly perceived as healthy may contribute to the development of liver disease, exacerbating the risk for individuals unaware of their liver fat status. In this eye-opening video, we unveil the top five foods that could be quietly wreaking havoc on your liver health. Okay then. Even foods touted for their detoxifying properties may, paradoxically, instigate significant damage to this vital organ. While liver fat typically manifests without overt symptoms, its presence serves as a harbinger of potential health woes, such as diabetes and cardiovascular disease. But how can you discern if you have liver fat? What factors contribute to its onset? And most importantly, how can you reverse its effects in a matter of weeks? We delve into these pressing questions, providing comprehensive insights into the diagnostic tests necessary to evaluate liver fat levels and its severity. Moreover, we explore the critical importance of addressing this condition promptly, shedding light on why liver fat demands our utmost attention and vigilance. Join us as we navigate through the complexities of liver fat, unraveling its underlying causes and empowering you with the knowledge needed to safeguard your liver health effectively. As a special bonus included on this video, we have included a section called Nourishing Your Liver, which is a comprehensive guide to nutritional support for your liver. Despite the lack of attention it typically garners due to its asymptomatic nature, addressing the reversal of hepatic steatosis is paramount. Yes, it's entirely possible to reverse this condition within a few weeks through straightforward means. So, Let's delve into the process. First and foremost, it's imperative to undergo comprehensive testing under the guidance of a healthcare professional. Consulting your doctor and undergoing a thorough checkup is the initial step. This typically involves a series of tests collectively known as a liver panel, encompassing assessments of key markers such as albumin and lactate levels. These results provide crucial insights that inform subsequent steps in your treatment journey. However, the cornerstone of diagnostic evaluation lies in undergoing an ultrasound of the liver. This non-invasive procedure enables precise determination of the degree of hepatic steatosis, categorizing it into varying grades based on severity. Whether it's grade 1, denoting a milder form, or grade 3, indicating a more pronounced concern, the ultrasound serves as a vital tool for accurate assessment. Oh, a quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it. If you can subscribe and like, this helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it. Incorporating these tests into your routine checkup regimen is paramount for individuals age 40 or 45 and above, ensuring ongoing monitoring of liver function. However, it's equally essential for younger individuals, particularly those grappling with excess weight and visceral fat accumulation, to proactively assess their liver health. Moreover, Given the increasing prevalence of hepatic steatosis, even among children, early detection and intervention are critical for optimal outcomes. By prioritizing proactive screening and embracing early intervention strategies, we can effectively combat the rising tide of hepatic steatosis, safeguarding liver health for generations to come. Let's delve into why liver fat accumulation is such a critical concern. Our liver stands as a crucial organ, serving as the primary hub for detoxifying our body. Every substance we ingest undergoes metabolization within this vital organ. Whether it's the beer we indulge in over the weekend or the medications we rely on for our well-being, it's the liver that diligently purifies these substances. Moreover, our liver plays a pivotal role in energy metabolism and serves as a reservoir for essential nutrients like vitamin B12, iron, and fat-soluble vitamins A, D, and K. Given its multifaceted functions, the liver is rightfully hailed as a noble organ. However, when inflammation strikes, trouble brews within the hepatic precincts, leading to the accumulation of fat within liver cells. This sets the stage for a cascade of issues including weight gain, as compromised metabolism slows the body's calorie-burning prowess. 
Furthermore, the onset of insulin resistance, a precursor to diabetes, looms ominously on the horizon. Chronic inflammation, triggered by the fat-laden liver, casts a shadow over our entire physiological landscape. Fostering an environment ripe for the development of various chronic and degenerative diseases over time. Hence, we find ourselves facing a silent adversary, hepatic steatosis. A condition that stealthily infiltrates without issuing any overt warning signs, yet harbors profound dangers. But why does our liver succumb to fat accumulation in the first place? Well, the roots of this predicament typically trace back to five primary culprits. Let's unravel the first culprit behind liver fat accumulation, alcoholic hepatic steatosis. You've likely encountered this term before. It's a condition that afflicts chronic ethanol users, those who partake in daily alcohol consumption. Now, alcohol, while often associated with social gatherings and relaxation, harbors a darker side. As a toxic substance, it poses a significant challenge to our body's detoxification system. And who bears the brunt of this detox duty? None other than our liver, the unsung hero of our internal cleansing process. Here's how it unfolds. When we indulge in excessive alcohol consumption, our liver springs into action. An enzyme known as alcohol dehydrogenase steps up to the plate, aiming to neutralize this toxic influx. However, the conversion process transforms alcohol into acetaldehyde, a compound even more toxic than its predecessor. Paradoxically, this conversion is a necessary evil for the eventual elimination of alcohol from our system. Yet, it comes at a cost. The heightened toxicity triggers an inflammatory response within our liver, paving the way for the onset of hepatic steatosis. Let's explore cause number two, the rampant overuse of medications. Picture this, it's like having a showbox overflowing with pills there's one for sleep, another for mood enhancement, something for pain relief, and yet another to shield your stomach from the side effects of the other drugs. It's a veritable pharmacy packed into a box, the reality is that many individuals today rely heavily on medications to navigate through their daily lives. But here's the catch. The more pills we pop, the greater the strain on our liver. Each medication we ingest, whether prescribed or over-the-counter, needs to be processed and metabolized by our liver. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Sometimes, we end up taking additional medications just to counteract the side effects of the ones we're already on. It's a vicious cycle that can wreak havoc on our liver's health. That's why maintaining open lines of communication with your healthcare provider is crucial. Your doctor can help you navigate through the maze of medications, ensuring you're not inadvertently putting undue stress on your liver. It's all about finding the right balance between managing your health conditions and safeguarding your liver's well-being. Let's delve into cause number three, dietary hepatic steatosis. You might be surprised to learn that not all cases of liver fat stem from alcohol or medications. In fact, a significant culprit lurks in our deet sender dietary steatosis. You might think, I don't drink, I'm not on any medications, so why do I have hepatic steatosis? Well, the answer lies in what you eat. Certain foods can be downright toxic to your liver, and I'm here to unveil the top five offenders. First up, no surprises, hair cigar. Sugar isn't just about the extra pounds it packs on. It's the composition that's the real troublemaker. You see, sugar is made up of two molecules, glucose and fructose. While glucose can be utilized by various organs, fructose? Well, it's the liver's burden to bear. When there's an excess of fructose which often comes from overindulging in sugary treats, it overwhelms the liver's capacity to process it, leading to you guessed it, hepatic steatosis. Next on the list are processed food she convenient, pre-packaged meals we often turn to when time is short. Take a peek at the labels, and you'll likely spot ingredients like corn syrup, glucose syrup, and fructose syrup. These sugars, particularly high fructose corn syrup, are liver's arch nemesis. Plus, to balance out the sweetness, manufacturers often toss in salt, amplifying the flavor while masking the sugar overload. Sneaky, right? Then, there's sodathy, Fizzy, sugary elixir many guzzled down without a second thought. Packed with high fructose corn syrup, soda can wreak havoc on your liver, especially if you're downing liters of the stuff each day. It's a sweet, bubbly recipe for liver trouble. But wait, there's more to uncover. 
Let's move on to trans fats artery clogging villains found in fried foods, baked goods, and margarine. These fats aren't just bad for your waistline. They can also trigger inflammation in your liver, paving the way for hepatic steatosis. Lastly, let's shine a light on excessive alcohol consumption, a well-known contributor to liver woes. Chronic ethanol use can spell disaster for your liver, leading to alcoholic hepatic steatosa. Sobering reminder of the toll alcohol takes on this vital organ. So, if you're grappling with hepatic steatosis, take a closer look at your diet. Cutting back on these dietary villains might just be the key to restoring your liver's health and reclaiming your well-being. Prepare to be astonished by the fourth culprit on our list it's none other than fruit juice. Yes, you heard that right, fruit juice, the seemingly innocent beverage touted for its health benefits, can actually contribute to liver inflammation, especially the box varieties. Here's the deal, fruit juice, particularly the box kind, is loaded with fruit sugar, also known as fructose. When you juice fruit, you strip away the fiber and most of the nutrients leaving behind a concentrated dose of sugar, predominantly fructose. And guess what? Excessive fructose intake can spell trouble for your liver, sparking inflammation and setting the stage for hepatic steatosis. But hold on, before you swear off fruit juice altogether, there's a glimmer of hope. Natural fruit juice, while still high in fructose, is generally less harmful than its box counterparts. To play it safe, opt for less sweet fruit juices, like tangy passion fruit or zesty lemon, which pack a punch of flavor without an overwhelming sugar hit. Let's unveil the fifth and final culprit in our liver health expos, green tea. Now, hold on to your teacups, because this might surprise you. While green tea is often hailed as a health elixir, excessive consumption can actually be detrimental to your liver health. Here's the deal on green tea. It's packed with antioxidants and offers a stimulating boost, which can indeed help safeguard your liver. However, here's where things get tricky. Downing copious amounts of green tea throughout the day coupled with popping green tea supplements, and maybe even indulging in green tea-infused weight loss product scan, tip the scales from beneficial to harmful. Picture this. You start your morning with a refreshing cup of green tea, but then you keep brewing more throughout the day. Before you know it, you've ingested an astronomical amount of green tea. While this might sound harmless, overdoing it can lead to severe inflammation in the liver, landing you in hot water. While such cases are rare, there have been instances where individuals have ended up in the hospital with chronic liver inflammation due to excessive green tea consumption. Now, before you panic and bid farewell to your beloved green brew, let's set the record straight. Green tea is indeed fantastic, but like everything else in life, it should be enjoyed in moderation. So, sip your green tea mindfully and revel in its benefits without going overboard. But wait, you might be wondering, how do you reverse fatty liver if you've already been diagnosed with hepatic steatosis? Let's dive into that next. You might be wondering, how can you kickstart your liver's regeneration process or reverse the condition? Well, here's the scoop. The liver is a powerhouse when it comes to regeneration and it's capable of bouncing back within a few weeks. First off, if you're serious about giving your liver a fighting chance, it's time to bid adieu to alcohol use, even those weekend indulgences. Let's give your liver some space to reset and return to its former glory. Once your liver is back on track, you can reintroduce alcohol in moderation. But for now, it's best to steer clear. Next up on the detox agenda, overhaul your diet. Say goodbye to junk food, bid adieu to sugar, and wave farewell to processed foods. Instead, focus on consuming real, wholesome foods. Think plants and animals kind that Mother Nature intended. Give it a solid for weeks, and you'll be amazed at how your liver perks up. Now, let's talk about breaking a sweat. Physical exercise isn't just about sculpting those absets a key player in the detoxification game. By revving up your metabolism, Exercise prompts your liver to tap into those fat stores. For energy, giving it a much-needed workout in the process. Ever considered intermittent fasting? It's not just a trend it's a powerful detox tool. But if the thought of fasting feels dawning, fret not. Simply extending the intervals between meals can work wonders. Say goodbye to the constant insulin spikes that come with snacking every few hours, and give your liver some breathing room. 
With a little dedication and commitment, within six to seven weeks, your liver could be singing a whole new tune. It's incredible how quickly the liver can regenerate when given the chance. So, are you ready to embark on this liver revitalizing journey? Nourishing your liver, a comprehensive guide to nutritional support. In the pursuit of overall wellness, we often overlook the importance of liver health. As one of the body's vital organs, the liver plays a crucial role in detoxification, metabolism, and nutrient storage. To support optimal liver function, it's essential to prioritize a nutrient-rich diet filled with foods that promote liver health. In this article, we'll explore various nutritional strategies, including the incorporation of superfoods, nutrient-rich ingredients, and balanced meal plans to nourish and protect your liver. Superfoods for liver health Superfoods are nutrient-dense foods that offer a myriad of health benefits, including support for liver function. Incorporating these powerhouse ingredients into your diet can help boost liver health and overall well-being. Here are some superfoods renowned for their liver supportive properties. Leafy greens, spinach, kale, and other leafy greens are rich in chlorophyll, which aids in detoxification and helps flush out toxins from the liver. These vegetables also contain antioxidants and fiber, which promote optimal liver function. That's brilliant! Berries, blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries are packed with antioxidants called polyphenols, which protect liver cells from damage caused by free radicals. Additionally, berries are low in sugar and high in fiber, making them an excellent choice for liver health. <laughs> That's brilliant! Turmeric. This vibrant yellow spice contains curcumin, a potent anti-inflammatory compound that can help reduce inflammation in the liver. Adding turmeric to your dishes or enjoying a warm turmeric latte can provide valuable support for liver health. That's brilliant, Harry. Brilliant! Cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and cauliflower contain compounds called glucosinolates, which support liver detoxification pathways. These vegetables also provide essential nutrients like vitamin C and folate, which are beneficial for liver health. That's brilliant! Fatty fish, salmon, mackerel, and sardines are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which have anti-inflammatory properties and can help reduce fat accumulation in the liver. Aim to include fatty fish in your diet at least twice a week to support liver health. Nutrient-rich ingredients for liver health. That's brilliant! In addition to superfoods, incorporating nutrient-rich ingredients into your meals can further enhance liver health. Here are some key ingredients to include in your diet. 1. Garlic. Garlic contains sulfur compounds that support liver detoxification and may help reduce cholesterol levels. Add fresh garlic to your meals or enjoy it in mince form for maximum benefit. That's brilliant! 2. Walnuts. These heart-healthy nuts are rich in omega-3 fatty acids and antioxidants which promote liver health and protect against oxidative stress. Snack on a handful of walnuts or add them to salads and oatmeal for a nutritious boost. That's brilliant! 3. Olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is a staple of the Mediterranean diet and is rich in monounsaturated fats and antioxidants. Incorporating olive oil into your cooking can help reduce inflammation and support liver function. That's brilliant! 4. Green tea. Green tea contains catechins, which are antioxidants that support liver health and may help prevent liver disease. Enjoying a cup of green tea regularly can provide valuable support for your liver. That's brilliant! 5. Quinoa. This gluten-free grain is a complete protein and a good source of fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Quinoa can help regulate blood sugar levels and promote liver health when included in a balanced diet. That's brilliant! Balance Meal Plans for Liver Health Creating balanced meal plans that prioritize liver-supportive foods is essential for maintaining optimal liver function. Here's a sample meal plan to inspire you. Breakfast Start your day with a smoothie made with spinach, berries, Greek yogurt, and a scoop of turmeric. Pair it with a slice of whole grain toast topped with avocado and a sprinkle of chia seed. <laughs> Lunch. Enjoy a colorful salad with mixed greens, grilled salmon, walnuts, and a drizzle of olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Serve with a side of roasted Brussels sprouts seasoned with garlic and lemon. That's brilliant. 
Dinner. For dinner, prepare a quinoa stir fry with broccoli, bell peppers, tofu, and a homemade teriyaki sauce. Include a side of steamed asparagus and enjoy a cup of green tea after your meal. That's brilliant! Incorporating superfoods, nutrient-rich ingredients, and balanced meal plans into your diet is essential for supporting liver health and overall well-being. By prioritizing liver-supportive foods and adopting healthy eating habits, you can nourish your liver and promote long-term health. Remember to consult with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian for personalized nutritional guidance tailored to your individual needs. If you found this video informative or helpful, don't hesitate to explore our Liver Club playlist for more valuable content. Feel free to share your health journey in the comments section below, as we believe in learning from one another's experiences. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, I extend my best wishes for your continued health, wealth, and happiness. Remember, the key to vitality is in your hands.